Good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so happy because it is officially the last week of school. <laughs> yes, it is officially my last week of the first year of my master's studies. I am so happy. Um, I'm nowhere near done with anything that I have to do. I mean, well, <coughs> basically, I am done with my three. I'm taking four classes. I'm done with basically three out of four of my final paper finals. You know, when you're a writer, <laughs> when you're studying creative writing, you don't really have tests. You just have, you know, essays to write. So um, I'm officially done with um, four, three of those. I have a 20 page paper to write this week by Thursday for my African-American women's studies class. I have been procrastinating so much, so hard, so hard on that paper and it's getting down to the wire and you know, it's gonna get done. I feel like this always happens to me. Like once I just sit down and tell myself, hey, write this paper now or else, like then I start like, then I'm gonna like, it's gonna get written. But it is Monday, April the 20, what do I never know what day or year we're in? It is April the 22nd on this beautiful Monday. It is 11, around 11 o'clock. Um, I've been procrastinating getting out, of, getting out of bed, basically. I literally did not want to get up today. I was like so tired, but no, Jasmine, it's not time to rest yet. It's really not time to rest. Like this is a final lap, you know, um, and I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it, but um, I have I'm going to be going to the library actually. I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the library this week. Um, I am scheduled to go into work this week and I'm going to be packing up my room because I'm moving out. The boxes are here just waiting for me to get into them. There are the boxes. Um, just waiting for me to pack up and like literally get out of here. Um, housing, I don't know where I'm going to be living next semester. Um, so that's that's something we're gonna think about later. We're gonna think about that later. We're putting that in the back of our head and we're we're focusing on what's most important, which is that paper and packing. So that is the update. Um, if you enjoy these vlogs, if you're if you're happy that it, I made it, basically, not yet, but I'm, I'm happy that I'm finally here. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and without further ado, I'm about to just head out honestly and get ready to um, crunch time i'm probably gonna be in the library just working working but um that's the update and i'll show you this beautiful day that we're having like it literally actually feels like spring what michigan like michigan what look at this beautiful day cloud no cloud in the sky it's about 60 degrees but it's like looking gorgeous outside gorgeous gonna miss this view for sure but I know more views will be more views like this are in my life they're coming so let's go okay so i'm officially on my way out the door right now i just want to stop and maybe do an outfit of the day really quickly um let me put my books back down but i'm wearing this jacket i think i got this jacket from a thrift store honestly but it's just this red like windbreaker kind of situation with a um gray this is a bodysuit that i think my sister was getting rid of and i decided to take it Plus these leggings that my sister was also getting rid of once again and I decided to take them. So these leggings and then I am wearing, um, let me flip the camera, with some knockoff Balenciagas because, yes. So that is the fit, if you can see it better this way, that's the fit. I just realized as I'm walking out that I actually have so many other errands to run, excuse me, I need to return the books that I rented from the bookstore. I mean, that's not super important. They're not due back to the 30th, but like, I don't need these anymore. So I have to return this book, this book, other books. I guess, and my backpack's already like super heavy because I like packed a lunch for when I'm in the library. I actually, I have to go put out some posters for my mother because she's a housekeeper and she was saying that she can like probably help people with their moving situation um because we have to deep clean our rooms before we move out even though this building is getting torn down literally may 1st so i'm like what are we cleaning up just for there to be like rubble smashed into this building <laughs> but yeah um there's that and i also what else do i have to do um i feel like i have one other thing to do i need to go to the bank 
because I need to wash all of my laundry. So yeah, I have a bunch of errands to run this week. What am I doing with my life? I'm good. Okay, I don't know what I want to do first. I'm not gonna turn these books today. I'm not gonna turn these books, no. I'm gonna go work on my paper. That's the most important thing to do. So let's head out. Let me grab my trash. I hope I'm not missing anything. I feel like I'm missing something, but whatever. Let's go. myself like slowly dying I don't know I think I have a short attention span sometimes but like my energy was draining so fast and so hard <sighs> and I only got seven pages written but I'm like starting to worry that I may not finish this paper by Thursday but um you know um whatever I'm just gonna turn whatever I have honestly um I don't know, it's just too much sometimes. But I think I'm gonna go to the bank right now and get some money to do um, my laundry. I'm feeling like really terrible. Even though I like brought laundry at eight, I'm just feeling like super ugh. So I'm just gonna go to the bank right now. So I just made it back in my apartment. So I'm going to the um, bank. There was like some frat party thing, cookout. Even though I didn't see no food going on <laughs> downtown, I mean downtown, um, down by my um, apartment. Honestly, if there had been food, I probably would have gone. But I don't really like go to any sort of those social events because like I said, I don't have any friends. <laughs> so it's like really awkward for me to just randomly be in a crowd of people with music and dancing. And like also I don't do like events like that, like where it's like, I can't dance with like in broad daylight like now that's just super weird to me I don't know <laughs> but whatever we're not talking about that anymore we're not talking about that um I um oh, it is oh my gosh my heat is on it's so hot in here but I'm about to probably do some laundry <laughs> has just been started okay lighting my laundry has just been started and now I'm actually I think I'm gonna start packing I'm gonna try to be productive because I'm not gonna go work back on my paper <laughs> again today and I told my teacher I'm not coming to class I'm like where can I turn on my paper I have my work already done I'm just waiting I don't know where to submit it to so I'm just waiting for that but I think I'm gonna take down the wall decorations that are hanging up um and probably start packing up some of my clothes I I don't even know if I want to show this mess 
pile of clothes in, in the middle and like a, it's just a mess I'm not I'm not a clean person you know so, and that's you know my faults but we all have our faults you know so montage again this is probably gonna be this vlog is probably just gonna consist of 100% montages but that's okay too because that's the reality of moving out so let's get into it <laughs> in my little organizer thing and I'll look at all these freaking papers that are just trash and then I literally have all this to go through like wow being a writing student is just ridiculous like all of this freaking trash that I need to recycle this is so much paper it's ridiculous but I am cleaning that out um I got this box one up that box over there is full so we're moving we're zooming through this so I'm about to take a break from cleaning, uh, well, packing, because I'm hungry. So I'm gonna get some Subway. I was about to order it in, but their freaking online ordering is broken. So now I have to actually go there, but it's Subway, so it'll be done anyway. So I don't know why I'm like <laughs> extra, like two minutes compared to one minute walking in and out. But okay, I'm about to head out to go get my Subway. Let's go. So I'm in the elevator right now, headed back to my dorm and I got a story time, like, let me check how many minutes I have. 30 minutes on my dryer, but so I was um at first of all Subway's um online ordering thing wasn't working, so I'm like, okay, that sucks. I have to go in. Then I go in, no bread. They had like two options for bread. I was like, okay, but I usually eat white wheat bread. They only had white or wheat bread. I was like, okay, I eat I eat wheat bread, that's fine. Then they were saying the oven doesn't work and I wanted a BLT. <laughs> so I'm like, what? I'm really like, what? So then I was like, I, I saw one guy leave out of the line. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm about to follow him. And I decided to go to Jimmy John's. I have never had Jimmy John's. My ex best friend works at Jimmy John's. I am really scared to try this, honestly. So I came in, I was like confused. I was like, wait, this is my first time. What do I do? The girl just like looked at me and like laughed. And I was like, no, this is serious. Like, what do I do? <laughs> but I just like picked a BLT because that's what I was in the mood for. So we're about to try this live. We're about to try it live. Hold on. I'm actually really thirsty. So I'm going to go get something to drink really quickly. I'll be back. Okay, I got some apple juice. Um, I'm really scared to try this because I saw nothing being heaten up. I didn't even choose what bread this is, so I don't know if Jimmy John only has one bread. I'm really scared. Honestly. I don't know what they put in this. Okay, this looks like a freaking toenail. It smells like peanut butter and jelly. And I'm pretty sure I said cheddar cheese. Why is this literally like provolone? Bro, why is this like just cold hard? Why did they heat this up? I'm, oh my gosh, okay. Oh, I taste is mayo, but that's fine. 
I'm still trying to figure out why this smells like peanut butter and jelly. But it's not bad, so it satisfied my craving. If you eat at Jimmy John's, let me know what you order. Maybe I ordered uh, something wrong, but let me know what you eat there. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, April the 23rd or something like that. Um, I have been up for a while. I honestly did not pick up the camera because I've honestly just been chilling in my room. I have like a whole morning routine where I literally don't do anything until like way later on. Let me unplug these headphones. Make sure that you can hear me. Um, I was bopping out. Beyonce um, dropped her lemonade track on Spotify. <laughs> I was like living all over again but uh so thank you beyonce for gracing us this tuesday morning um i am on my way to work actually right now um i need to get dressed i'm literally in my bathrobe but my face is done hair is done i just brush my teeth so we're gonna be heading out today um then after work i think i'm gonna be going downtown with a friend to have some lunch um whoa it looks so windy outside what well, it looks really windy outside today, so that's exciting. But um, yeah, I'm excited to um, go downtown. And then after I go come back from downtown, I'm definitely gonna be working on my paper. Um, hopefully I'll get 10 pages done by today and I'll be halfway done. Not really, but okay. I hope everyone's been having a great day, morning, wherever you are in the world. Um, well, let's get on with our day. So I just made it back into from work. Oh my gosh, I should have recorded because we were doing like, we were handing out snacks for all the students that are studying for finals week. But um, right now I am about to change out of my work uniform and get ready to go to lunch or go out to, it's kind of dinner time, it's like 3.30, but I'm getting ready to go out to eat some food with my friends. So I'm super excited, so hungry, so I'm excited for this burger. It's gonna be the best burger I've had. And I also just found out that I won a scholarship as well. So I am so grateful and thankful and just like, I'm like really happy because I like needed an extra aid this semester because I don't know where I'm gonna be living. So I'm hoping that it's like a significant lump sum of money <laughs> because I am, uh, you know, I'm a student. I need, you know, I need my, my, my time to go somewhere. So I'm excited for that. There's an award ceremony for that this week. I told my mom and my sister's gonna come and it's gonna be really cute. So I'm excited, I'm really thankful to God. And <sighs> I'm, I, the week's been going good, so. Um, I'm gonna get dressed now because she's probably gonna be done already. Okay. So on my way to the a restaurant right now to get some food. I just got off work. This is Georgia. Do you wanna be on my snap? Hi guys. She's graduating this year, so <laughs> <That's> <laughs> 2019. <laughs> yes. We love a graduate. We love getting our degrees. Right. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to be on our way. Much, much later in the day I think it's about five o'clock right now no I'm, I'm what time is it oh yeah it is 5 33 I just got back in from going downtown we went to five guys it was her first time eating five guys and she like loved it I forgot to vlog because I was literally starving so I like gulped down my burger in like five seconds but after that we went to a cute little bake shop and I got a little cake I guess I'll show you guys I already started eating it but let me show you guys. There it is. It's super cute chocolate, double chocolate cake. So I'm literally sitting right here, like feeling just a little ugh right now. I don't know why the lighting is so bad, but I'm just like sitting here feeling just like weird about like just certain situations. I don't know. I'm like. I don't know if that's because I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself or just like feeling like, wow, I, I, 
am full of so much potential and yet I feel like my potential isn't being recognized and that's like a super really terrible feeling I'm like so I got my I got my poetry grade back and I got like a B and I'm just sitting here like oh I really could have gotten you know an A I really wish I could have gotten an A but my poetry teacher was just super rude to me um and i i stopped kind of participating in her class so i should be happy to get that b because you know i wasn't turning in satisfactory work but at the same time i feel like i did like try my hardest to be in a situation that like was super unsettling toward me and i i don't know i'm just like sitting here like oh i really wish i could have gotten you know that messes up like i could have got a 4.0 and like I don't know like I've never been a 4.0 student so why does it matter now that I am not getting all A's this semester and just the fact that I like I'm not even working on my paper right now that's due Thursday and I'm just gonna be like ask my teacher for a um, chance to turn it in later um, and then I'm sitting here thinking about um, the award ceremony and winning a scholarship and yet I'm upset because I wish I had won another scholarship, like several. I'm sitting here like comparing myself because this guy in my class won like three and I only won one and that was with three other people. So it's like, obviously the money is not gonna be split. Um, I don't, I needed like the extra funds, you know, because I don't know where I'm gonna be living next semester. My housing costs are gonna be going up. I like have no idea where I'm gonna be living next semester. I don't want to commute from the state, that the city that I live in to here. And I'm just like reading the scholarships and seeing, you know, that people got award the scholarships for financial need. I have a financial need, like I'm literally paying no money out of pocket. You know, I'm getting um, financial aid from the government and stuff. And like, that's a need, like I'm not paying, I can't afford like any of my schooling. So I, it just like, it just sucks that I did not, um, I just wonder what I did wrong in my application process, like why I wasn't given, you know, more help and it just sucks you know it really sucks um and i'm just like sitting here i like told myself i'm like wondering like when it's gonna feel like i made the best decision by coming to the school and you know i feel like it's coming like slowly but surely i feel like good things are happening to me and i think i, I should just be patient i should really be happy that i'm in this, this situation to further my education but it just isn't you know turning out the way that I like expected it and I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that and I was just having like such a good day but like that's honestly been the back of my mind like all week besides the scholarship thing like just like just feeling like super just unsettled I feel super unsettled and just like unsure of a lot of things and this is probably what this is probably what happens when you know end of the school year happens um i think i just hate change as well i get super just like frazzled um when i was graduating from college i like cried the whole week i was just super emotional um probably because i just didn't want to go back to california i went back i went to college in arizona and I was just super just crying probably like and I think it was because I didn't want to go back home because I didn't know what to expect when I went back home like it was a huge thing and I don't know the end of end of the years end of seasons really just make me feel really I don't know if down is the word but just like super just confused so and it may seem like I'm happy you know I try to be happy but it's still like things are in the back of my mind and I can never really be content so that's what I'm dealing with that's pretty exciting stuff but um I think I'm just gonna take it one step at a time I have work tomorrow at 9 a.m so I think I just need to I don't know what I need to do to make myself feel better probably honestly just leave school honestly do finish my paper and just be done with it like and just let God figure out the rest of my situation so yeah, that's about it. Okay, bye. Ooh. Good morning. It is two, no, Wednesday. I can't even talk. I just woke up. 
I'm extremely tired. Um, I stayed up late last night working on my paper um, because I literally couldn't fall asleep because I knew Jasmine, you really need to write this paper. Stop procrastinating already. So on the, on the bright side, I found out that my paper only has to be 15 pages and not 20 pages. And now I'm just like, wow, like a huge load has just been lifted off me. I feel so much better and just happier because I actually have 13 pages. So I only need to write two more pages and I'm done. I'm like so happy. I didn't think that I was going to make it, but I also had to read another, an extra book for this class and I did not do it. So I'm going to see if I don't have to do that um, <laughs> or honestly just find out if it's in the library. I only have to write a three page response to it. So it's not too bad, but I'm like, uh, I'm like, I need this to end. I need the semester to end, seriously. But it's like 7 a.m., almost 8 a.m. I have work at 9.30. That's why I'm up so early. I, I'm feeling okay, but I'm just, just like not happy that I'm up this early. <sighs> I'm like, <sighs> but we're, 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 we're knocking it out. It's Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. Um, I packed up a little bit more of my room last night as well. But yeah, I was up till midnight last night working, and that's the latest. I don't stay up late to do homework. I don't know. I just value sleep more than anything, so I didn't really, I don't know. I just realized I just need to work on it. So I stay up late. Um, today's plan is to go to work, and after work, go to the library, um, possibly return my textbooks from the bookstore. Um, and then try to see if I can finish my paper and then see if I can rent the book to read, skim it, try to come up with something worth three pages to turn in. And then um, tonight is late night breakfast. Super excited for that. Um, so I'm probably going to be going to that, see who's like uh, going to be awake because I'm not normally awake at nine o'clock, but we're doing new things this semester. So that's the update. Let's get on with our day. Hi guys, I just made it back in from work. Um, I just ate some food. Um, it is 2.17, super tired. I honestly think that I'm actually about to go take a nap. Um, I'm so glad I've been at work since nine o'clock, so I'm gonna rest before, excuse me, before finishing my paper. And then I'll probably do some packing today. And then tonight I'm having breakfast for dinner at the cafe. So that would be fun content for today. Um, it should be super fun, but I'm like so tired right now. I was drinking like this kickstart soda that's supposed to like give you energy, but it literally just knocked me out. Like I'm still tired. So that was fun. But um, yeah, I'll probably pick back up when I'm probably like packing still because I still have so much to pack and I basically have like three days to pack two three days to pack so exciting I'm like so tired all right bye <laughs> what's up guys so it is officially seven o'clock and I just finished my last final I am so happy and like just stress free and just like so grateful like i officially finished my first year of grad school i never would have thought that i would have made it to this point let me not say this right now because it's not like i'm graduating but like still i'm officially halfway there and like it's just crazy it's just really crazy to think about because i really struggled this year so i'm super happy to have really made it and stayed focused and strong and just did what i had to do so right now i'm, I'm just packing up the rest of my room i'll show you my progress I'm about to put my printer back in the box that I came in, but I have this box and I think I already saw that. I have one more box left. I'm gonna need more boxes for sure because these boxes are already full. Um, towels and clothes. I don't know why I have so many clothes, like all the things I have are clothes. This bag I'm actually donating. I'm donating these clothes. Um, if you walk into the hallway, this whole place looks a mess, I'm sorry, but um, this is like, these two boxes are still closed. It's like, why do I have so many clothes? So I am in the elevator right now, headed to a late night breakfast with my friend, Dan and some other girl. My makeup literally, I don't know what happened to my face today, but it's like not looking good. I'm in the striped shirt though with jeans and this. 
I think I should have bought a shirt, I mean a jacket. So we just made it to Late Night Girl. I'm here with Diamond and Jaya. And I'm excited. We're ready to eat some eat some food. I'm hot. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Thursday. We are zooming through the week. I'm honestly so tired right now. I don't know if I like might go get coffee or something, but I'm like feeling super, I need, mean, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. Um, I went to, um, from my vlog last night, I went to a late night breakfast. I didn't really stay very long, Um, but I like won a, a raffle prize like i never win those things ever so i was like what the heck yeah but i won these like pants from my university and they're way too freaking big they're like literally an xx large i'm like really so i'm gonna be going to the bookstore to exchange those for something else uh possibly today um and then i'm going to go return my books from the bookstore today and i think that honestly will be it I know, I think I might go with my friend because she's taking pictures for her graduation today. But I don't know, I think I just need a nap. I'm so tired. Ugh. But I'm about to go get dressed for work. Yeah, I've been working so much. This is like the most consecutively, consecutive time I've worked. Consecutive time? I worked like four days in a row at my job, so it's super tiring. Um, I think there's like a college fair today, so I'm going to be working that talking about buy your meal plans even though i don't have a meal plan get one um so that'll be that'll be what it is so let's get on with our day we're almost to the end like ugh, my my mother's coming tomorrow because tomorrow is the award ceremony and i'll probably give her some of my boxes or get more boxes to help pack but that'll be fun and then saturday is i'm actually at saturday i have um run modeling rehearsal because i actually tried it for modeling i was talking about that in my last vlog probably like two three weeks ago about they're having modeling auditions and i tried out and now i'm coming back to see if they need me for the show and then i'm leaving yeah then i'll have the u-haul and i'll be packing up and definitely moving out of this room on saturday so exciting things i got back one of my grades from my poetry class i got a b i know what i'll accept it i really will accept the b because I didn't like the class at all and when I don't like things and when I don't like people like my efforts like I don't try <laughs> and, it, and that's like a terrible thing for me like I'm that's probably a part of my stubborn personality like if I don't like you I'm not going to pretend to like I can't be fake to your face so and all the books we read were just like not good so I'll take that B um <laughs> definitely messed up my GPA but I already knew it wasn't gonna be 4.0 season this semester I'm gonna shoot for that next semester so okay i'm gonna go get on with my, my day now i'm about to be late to work so bye <laughs> so i just made it back in i got off work a few hours ago and i went to the bookstore to return all of my books that i used for this semester and also buy back two books one of them i did not get any money for and the other one i got two dollars for so yo you know I really didn't want to keep that book though. I, like I would have like I donated the other one. I literally put the other one in a trash bin. I was being donated because I don't want to look at those books ever again. Along with returning my books from the bookstore, I also returned the pants that I got that literally did not fit, and I got forty six dollars back from that. And I used that to buy my sister a birthday gift because. Her birthday is in like, is I think this weekend. I'm not on Sunday? I don't know. It's in three days. It's on Saturday, I think is the day. 
Um, 26 is Friday, 27th is Saturday. Yeah, it's on Sunday. So I'll show you what I got her. Oh, here's my things. I also went to, I went to Starbucks and I got a um, mocha java chip frappuccino. That's literally the only thing I drink there, from there, along with their, sometimes a vanilla bean. Oh, I also got a cupcake. I think these cupcakes are so cute. So I got that. And, um, yeah, let me show you guys what I got my sister. I also got her an outfit from Shein. Um, she's been talking about how she wants like a two-piece blazer and shorts set. So I bought her that. I need to actually track and see where that package is even at. It's probably been delivered already. But on top of that, I got her this <laughs> freaking sock monkey adoption rescue kit. She loves sock monkeys. So I just thought this would be really cute. Oh my gosh, I'm. she's gonna flip out because like inside of it is like, um, Here's your very own sock monkey. Um, need a surrogate kid, a little buddy, a confidant, a de-stressor. Complete with a handbook of care instructions, an adoption certificate, and places to record sock monkey milestones. It's super cute. I was like, oh my gosh, she's gonna flip out. So this is really cute for her. And I'll top and in June, I am going back to um, California to visit my family. I'm so happy about that. So like blessed to be able to go back home. I haven't been back to see my family in like two years. So I'm very happy about that. Sorry that I'm not looking at the camera. I'm trying to see, track my package yesterday. So I guess it'll be here Friday. But anyways, the last thing I got from Mars Noble was this book called One Page at a Time. It was Adam J. Kurtz, some guy. I actually really love these books that you can like write in. It has these like prompts that you can just write in like I freaking love books like this I probably should make one one day but I love like little books like this and I can't wait to like do this while I'm on the plane because like I don't like planes at all I get a lot of anxiety when I'm on airplanes but um last time I, I brought like a crossword puzzle book and that was like all right and now this time I got this super cute book so I don't know I'm super excited about it um yeah it's really cute so that's fun and that's the update so now i'm basically done with everything i'm just like now waiting to honestly go home i can't even believe i'm so happy that the semester is over but i'm also really sad like i hate i get a lot of like i don't know if it's like i don't know if it's I don't know I get really sad when things end um I, I think I talked about it just yesterday like when I graduated from college I was like crying every single day because I just hate when things like come to an end but it's not an end like it's not and I, I need to remind myself anything that is ending is creating an, a beginning as well you know and my boss it was my last day basically at work but I can come back next semester but I was like I, I applied for an internship and that's really what I want more than anything is like an internship so it could essentially be my last time there today. And I was just like, kind of like, oh, that's big. So I don't know. I, I hate saying goodbye. I hate like things ending, but I also need to prepare myself because I deserve, I know blessings are coming my way. So many good things have happened to me in the past, like this whole week. So it's been great. So I'm about to just chill, honestly. I might get um, dinner later tonight somewhere. I don't know, probably not though. I'll figure it out. But tomorrow's the award ceremony, so that should be fun. That's at noon, so. Okay, uh, bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm literally just sitting here. I was like taking a nap right now because I like don't know if I'm gonna go with my friend to go um, help her with her graduation pictures because I'm like so exhausted, but I just like looked up and looked at my email and I like, got a room for next semester, like. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I literally got a room. I didn't think I was gonna get a place because all of their housing was full, but oh my gosh, I just got a room for winter. Wow, God is so good. Literally everything that I've like, I don't even understand how everything that I've wanted this, this week has really just happened to me. And this is unbelievable, unbelievable. Like what? <laughs>
ceremony. There are moments we take, these are moments that we take in order to recognize accomplishments of our students and faculty. These accomplishments include excellent scholarship, excellent writing, and excellent teaching. I'm a specialist in 20th century American literature and creative writing, particularly poetry. I write as both a creative writer and critic. What has motivated me in my career as a scholar is finding and bringing into print poets that you may not have heard of whose careers were cut short or influenced by disability.